today we're having our 11th annual car show and uh, we started early this morning and cars are piling in we're hoping that it looks like we may blow our numbers away last year we had 207 cars registered and uh, it's still early and people are lined up to get their cars we have uh, a wonderful event here and uh, the cars are on display but we have concessions here we have hamburgers hot dogs uh, we have lots of t-shirts and lots of great things great time good music and a lot of fun it's just a fantastic time and uh, I'd like to thank to Andy Buckman he's the one that puts this together every year and uh, his brainchild we started out uh, 11 years ago and it's amazing what it's come to and the whole town of Berwick gets together and has a wonderful time. People are proud of their cars. You know, you gotta, I mean, you take a look at this uh, Impala right here, it's a beautiful car, uh, just one of many that are out here. And you got something like that, you wanna show it off, you know? So I take it straight out or that way? Uh, might be easier to get out and go that way. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's a beautiful lineup of cars. We've got the overflow into the old prime site. I think as we continue to grow in Berwick, we're having so much more opportunity to, to like get more cars in here, more people, more cars, more fun. It's an honor to, to be involved in a community that comes together like this. Andy Butman does most of the work putting stuff together. And, you know, a lot of people work together on it. car in the car show here in Berwick. Uh, she is a 66 Thunderbird. We call it the Thunder Chicken. Um, and it is a uh, just a family thing. My father and I own it. Uh, this is my grandson Bentley who's here doing his first car show with us. We got it at an auction and I've always liked Thunderbirds. He saw it on an auction and says, want to do something crazy? Want to want to go in on a car? And so we did it. My name is Howard Champagne, and that is a 1948 Dodge Power Wagon. It was manufactured for the civilian market after World War II. When people were coming back from the war, they remembered the four-wheel drive Dodge trucks that Dodge made for the military, and they started going to the Dodge truck dealers and asking, you know, you made them for the military, why can't we buy them? So Dodge took the pre-war cab the actual front end that was made for the military ambulance and then from what I understand in about five months time they came up with a truck they put it in the market and they actually made that model truck right through 1967. It's the original so-called flathead 230 cubic inch six cylinder and the transmission is the original non-synchro transmission. I bought this in July of 2003 I worked on it five years and I started driving in September of 08. and I live in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And this one's a 1968 Subaru 360. And that one's a 57 BMW Isetta 300. And the last one is a 66 Fiat Multipla. Um, California, California, 
and this one came from Japan because it's right hand drive. And that's the first year of the Subaru in the United States was 68. I don't know, I just like mechanical things, you know, and yeah, it's just the door on that one. And as I was saying, like this one here being a two stroke compared to everything else that was in the market was not. And the other one just, I just think it's kind of neat looking, <laughs> or odd looking, should we say, you know. I have probably 40, so it's a sickness. <laughs> I have not done anything to it. They no. came this way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a mechanical guy, not a body guy. Uh, we're looking at antique and interesting cars. Have you guys done the car show before? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, the past two years. What do you like about it? What do you look forward to about it? Um, I like seeing all the cool cars, like from like the 60s and 50s and stuff. Yeah. I like the one that's around for Oh, yeah. Will you show it to me? You want to take me over there and show it to me? What do you like about it? I don't know where it is now. I think your sister, do you know where it is, Daisy? Your sister knows where it is. You want to go go over there and you show it to me? It's past the car. Do you want to go over there? What's your favorite? Which one do you like? Do you have a favorite? I don't know. I like so many of them. Do you like the orange one over there? Kind of. I think my favorite one is like that red one over there. Yeah? Yeah. Why? How come? What do you like about it? I don't know. It's just really cool. Yeah, they all got driven here for people to look at and check out. Yeah, do you guys want to show me your favorite cars? Uh, that's the one I like. That's the one I like right there. The one I just pointed at. I don't really know which ones I like, but I like like these kind of style cars. Have you guys ridden in old cars before? No. no? I don't know how with a car. <laughs> My name's David Horn, I live in Summersworth, New Hampshire, and this vehicle is the feature car for the today's Spirit Car Show, and it's a 1934 Plymouth PE. It has uh, four suicide doors, and uh, running gear is modern Hemi running gear, but it has the, all the original steel body now. The grill is in backwards, it's re chrome put in backwards to give it the slant, like the front end slants, and it has the full running boards up the length of the car to the fender the fender. Uh, it's a uh, modernized inside as far as leather interior and electric windows and uh, power seat and all the options you get in the newer cars. Three five nine eight six four seven three five nine eight. Eight seven four six three 
Nine five. Right here. Six seven four. Eight seven four. Six three nine five. You're a winner, sir. Thank you. Thank you.